What's up, y'all? It's your girl Xavier, and I'm back with another video. I'm doing a mukbang story time. I'm gonna be trying out the new Burger King Spider Man. <laughs> the new Burger King Spy Spider Man uh, Whopper. Y'all, they made my fries so fresh, I already was busting them down. I got Pop Pop in the back with me. I don't know if y'all can see him, but he back there chilling. Papa, say hey. Say hey, Papa. I, I had to try because I love Spider Man. My favorite hero is Spidey. I love Spider Man. Why is it red? Duh, Spider Man. Oh my gosh. Oh my. So it's just like a whopper, but with a red. Okay. Okay. Y'all, Whoppers be busting though. Whoppers do be busting, but we're gonna get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into this burger so we can get into the tea. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. It tastes like a plain Whopper. The bun don't make it no. And I uh uh no uh you ain't gonna sit here and ruin my story time. Yeah, yeah. The bun don't taste no different. It just tastes like a plain whopper. And I heard instead of using color dye, food dye, they make the bun out of beet juice, which is pretty cool. That's what the word on the curb is. Mmm. Mmm. What's Zippy saying? Bustin' bustin'. Bustin' bustin'. Gave me a good old Sprite. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, ma'am. First thing first, I'm gonna say, y'all, I was stressed out planning this wedding. Planning a whole wedding, I was stressed. Like, I kicked Papa out because. He was starting to ruin my video. <laughs> it was stressful, <laughs> but for the most part, it was stressful, but planning like planning a prom, planning a birthday party, planning any celebration is gonna be stressful, but baby wedding planning, from flowers, cake tasting, picking out this vendor, that vendor, all that shit was stressful, y'all. Like All that was 100% stressful, like, mm-hmm. Um, Let's not forget on top of that, I was pregnant at the time, y'all. And I had complications with Papa. So, that put more stress on me, y'all. Like, oh my God, I'm planning a whole, I'm already emotional. I'm already emotional because I'm pregnant. So y'all know my emotions are up here. So any little thing was making me cry. Y'all know my emotions was up here by being pregnant. On top of planning stressing, Y'all, I was going through it. My wedding planner, she made it easier for me. But, let me get into more details. Like, first we're going to start out like, bridesmaid-wise. You know it's always some with a group of females coming together anyway. But, surprisingly, it wasn't no problem. Like, all my bridesmaids, they com everybody communicated. Everybody pitched in. Everybody paid with what they were supposed to pay for. So, with my bridesmaids, I feel like... They was on point. My bridesmaids, I feel like they was on point. Now the groomsmen, I ain't gonna get into y'all. I ain't gonna get into them because they was pissing me off. Like, y'all know how men is. Most men are last minute. When I say they was pissing me off, bruh, they were pissing me off. But that's where it goes back to what I said. It's Darnell fault because, bruh, why you not make sure yo yo that that was stressing me out? I gotta deal with my bridesmaids. I don't want to deal with my bridesmaids and my groomsmen. That's your job. He ain't he wasn't doing his job, right, like, bruh? And he's like, 
But do they ever do what they supposed to do? Do they else do their job? No. And this ain't bashing nobody. This just facts, baby. These are facts. Um, yeah, like I feel like that now. You could have um baby had them in check. They wanna get their suits last minute, they wanna figure out what they were last minute. He wanted to wear he wanted to wear like the um the old school, how they had it with the little thing on the waist. But one shop that he, Darnell thought if one shop didn't have it, another shop don't. Baby, it's 500 billion people in this world. If one place don't get it, you go check out another place. He just settled for whatever. Like, that blew me. So, the bridesmaid was good. The groomsmen was on straight BS. They was bullshit. Food tasting. We had did a vlog on our page. Well, this page, I think we did a vlog of food tasting. Y'all, as y'all saw, I wasn't there because Darnell pissed me off. And I was like, I don't want to be married to you no more. So I didn't go to my food tasting, y'all. He took his groomsmen to the food tasting and they said the food was okay. But the day of the wedding, y'all, that food was so freaking, bro, the food was fire. The chicken was juicy. Everybody everybody said that, uh, what did I have? Beef short ribs was good. The potatoes and macaroni was good. So many people told us when they go to weddings, their food was nasty. But they was like, our food was busting, busting. Like, our wedding food was delicious. Now, I tore it up. The chicken was amazing. Like, I seen people throwing down. Like, <laughs> the food was good. Darnell took his guys to the taste test and um, they was like the food was okay, but maybe that was just a taste tester because when they when they picked out the items for the wedding, um, they told them like add seasoning here, do this, do that. So that's maybe why the food was good. But the food was good. The food was good at the wedding. Picking out the flowers. I think did I pick out the flowers? I think I picked out the flowers. I picked out the flowers. That was cool. I had a little issue with my flower person because. I forgot what she say. Something wasn't. Oh, before the wedding, you before the wedding, you know, you do like the flower people to come and do a setup and set the flowers up so you can see how your flowers is gonna look with like a tablecloth and a lightning and all that. She told us that's an extra charge, but she didn't tell us that at the beginning. If I'm if I'm not if I'm being correct, she didn't tell me and my weather planner that at the beginning. We thought when we paid her that will come with it like to show up day before the wedding and see how everything when all the vendors meet up and see how everything she said that's an extra fee that pissed me off like baby you should have said that, that that didn't come with it like what do you mean you know when it comes to a wedding you're supposed to show up uh a couple days before the wedding and make sure everything look good together talking about if you come that's gonna be an extra fee uh y'all that pissed me off like That pissed me out. Mr. Flower. Let's get into the photography. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, the photography was good. We had I had my own photography, videography. Daniel had his own photography, videography, and like the wedding had it's all photography videography. So while we getting filmed, he getting filmed, the wedding stuff getting filmed at the same time, which was cool. And plus we got a lot of pictures. The people was respectful. They took pictures of everybody and everything we wanted them to do. But my thing was, we didn't get our pictures back till, the wedding was in October. We didn't get our pictures back till, February? February. We didn't get our pictures back to February. That's the only thing that blew me. They were saying it's a thirty. It's a thirty day something. I don't know. I don't. Get, I don't even. I don't even care. That blew me. We didn't get our pictures back until February, y'all. February. The wedding was in October. The wedding was in October. That blew me. Besides that, don't get me wrong. The photography and stuff we used was excellent they was good they our pictures was good but why it took so long for us to get our pictures then they gonna say if you want to if you want to skip the line or something get your pictures to hit there by us that'll be an extra fee what my wedding pictures what yeah mm -hmm. that pissed me off <laughs> y'all bet y'all like damn everything pissed you <laughs> then i told everybody simply 
simply on the invitation, I told everybody, um, I told everybody, dress to impress. This is the black tie event. Y'all know black people don't listen. This is a black tie event. Guess what? I said no jeans, no hats, no t-shirt. Guess what people showed up in? Hats, t-shirt. Somebody showed up in a whole jean suit. Jean jacket, jean pants, gym shoes. You know what? I was like, it's my wedding day. I don't want to go off. I, 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 yeah, I was trying to keep my cool the whole day. Like It just was like little things here and there that you was noticing that you told people not to do and they was doing it. Y'all like... I tried to keep my cool, but yeah, I put on the invitation, big, um, what I say, black tie event, black people, what they do, they still carry what they want to come in, not everybody, certain people, but I guess, sip my tea, what else, let me say something good, cause I bet y'all like, <laughs> I bet y'all like, girl, say something good, the good thing about it was like picking out like your own dress, picking out what you want your flower girls, your bridesmaids to wear, your hair, your nails. That's always the fun part. You know, that was just so fun and amazing. Um, it, it wasn't too stressful on, on certain things like the flowers, like I said, and what hairstyle. Y'all already knew. I knew what hairstyle I wanted. I, want, I knew how I wanted my nails, all, my makeup, all that, all that was good. But let's get into this wedding dress, y'all. So look, I was pregnant. Now, I was pregnant. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? I already picked out both of my wedding dresses. I already been measured for them and it was in the making. Then I got pregnant, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I paid for my wedding dress. My wedding dress was so big. I paid for it a year before the wedding. I paid for my wedding dress a year before the wedding. So when I paid for it, they immediately started making it because it was gonna be a brand new dress and it was big as hell so they started making my dress then i got pregnant y'all so i'm like okay 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 i let them know like yeah i got pregnant so they're like okay that's cool we still got a lot of time because man job i paid for my wedding dress a year ago a year before the wedding so they're like okay that's cool we still got time if they gotta add or add extra material we could we could always do that you feel me so okay then I start having complications. We don't know when on um, the baby coming. Cause I started bleeding. They said my placenta was detaching and all this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know when I'm having this baby. Madge, I had Papa September 25th and I got married October 17th. I got married October 17th and I had Papa September 25th. That wasn't even a month. That wasn't even a month, y'all. Huh? I had, I had a C-section. Y'all, so... Now they pulling pieces from the dress. Now they pulling pieces from the dress. I'm like, oh my God. I hope I can fit this dress. I hope it look good. But, your girl looked good. I'm going to insert some clips. Your girl looked good and snatched. Okay? In both dresses. That was the thing. Now, it wasn't no bad. It wasn't nothing on the, the dress people or none of that. It was me because I was pregnant and I had complications. But they accommodated me so good, y'all. Like, my dress snatched me up. Like, they did my wedding dress people. They did a very good job because, like, both of my dresses fitted me. Even though I was just pregnant a month ago. Y'all yeah, had a C-section and everything in my dress. It was comfortable. They made it comfortable and all that. Like, y'all. I think my wedding dress was like my best, my best part. Like, I looked so beautiful. Like my whole glam. I look, I really, 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 really loved my glam look. Like, I was, I was, I'm happy for the most part about that. Like, I'm happy for that. Ceremony. Okay. Y'all, I'm sorry. Y'all, one thing I didn't like about my ceremony is people was doing what the fuck they wanted to do. I'm looking at my man, Drew. I don't know what's going on out there because I'm the last person to go out. I'm looking at my wedding video. You can't even see nothing because everybody's standing up. Why is everybody standing up? And want nobody, not the pastor, not the wedding planner, not no one. Nobody gonna tell these people. Everybody have a seat. 
Why is everybody standing up? The, everybody standing up. The people in the front can't see. The people in the front is moving. The people in the front. So y'all know, this is the middle of the floor where everybody walking down. Then you got the, the guests on the side. The people in the front can't see, so they walking around to the front in the middle, looking down because they can't see because everybody's standing up. Why is everybody standing up? So by the time I'm coming, by the time I come out, everybody still standing up. By the time I'm coming up, everybody still standing up. So and I'm putting a telling them, please rise. Cause y'all already standing up. Why is everybody standing up? Like y'all, I just sometimes I just hate people. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Cause that that's like common sense. Like won't nobody gonna tell everybody to stand up. The people in the front cannot see. If everybody was sitting down, everybody would be able to see. The people in the front doing this and all I see in my wedding videos this. People walking around trying to see, doing this, doing this, like, what's the Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. The ceremony, I hate my wedding video. Then, then when I come out, okay, cool. They told them no recording, and then I'm glad everybody listened to that. Then nobody recorded me when I was coming out. I came out. People just, people just, in a way, like, doing what they want to do. Like, like I was trying my best, y'all, to keep cool and be calm. I was trying my best to, like, be cool and be calm, but people's doing all what they want to do. Standing up in the middle of, like, baby, the ghetto, okay? Cocktail hour was beautiful. I really love the cocktail hour. Everybody was mingling, communicating, getting drunk, taking pictures. Y'all, I, th I think I took like over 200 pictures during cocktail hour. Every time I took a picture with somebody, another person coming up, another person coming up, like everybody wanted a picture. I was like, okay, somebody give me a drink because I ain't had no drink. A camera here got too hot. I had to pull in a garage phone. I don't even know where I left off at. Oh, cocktail hour, y'all. And I just finished that Whopper, so that's all gone. But yeah, cocktail hour. I love the cocktail hour. It was lit. Everybody was a vibe. We had a um violin. In. She was going crazy. Everybody was mixing and mingling. The drinks was good. I was taking so me we we took so many pictures during cocktail hour. I'm like. I was exhausted of taking pictures, y'all. Like everybody running up, running up, getting their pictures, getting their pictures. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. The reception. I think that's what it called. The reception. So that was lit. Y'all know that's when everybody eat, everybody get lit, everybody dancing, everybody turn up. That was lit. Just like cocktail hours, but with um a live DJ and all that. Everybody was on the dance floor, having fun. We did our um mother mother son dance, daughter daddy dance, bridesmaids dance, grooms dance, all that was fun. That was lit. Uh what else did I like? Uh Oh, that was lit. That was lit. That was lit. Um, what happened after that? Then we got into the speeches. I feel like people could have been more better with their speeches. That's another thing I didn't like about my wedding. Like, everybody was being so ghetto and cursing and doing all that with their speeches. Only person I feel like had a good speech was my sister. She had, she had wrote something. She really had a sweet, nice, uh message for us like she put all that ghetto and all that curses to the sad like i wish everybody would did that i understand everybody's being they self but this one the time to be yourself this was the time to tell us exactly how you felt and exactly how um you know me and me and darnell made you feel but people still being ghetto i didn't like that part about the wedding the people was cursing being ghetto being stupid being drunk obnoxious so i didn't like that another thing i didn't like about the way that Darnell Brothers got into it. Yeah, I'm putting y'all on blast. Darnell Brothers got into it because they was drunk. Don't know how to act. Don't know how to, can't take them nowhere. <laughs> they they drunk acting stupid, y'all. Like, y'all, like, overall, I get my wedding. If I had to rate my wedding, y'all, I would give it a six, seven. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like, it was beautiful. Everything was beautiful. The look was beautiful. The vibes was beautiful. But it's like so much. I would, if I could go back, I would change a lot. Like, if I could go back, I would definitely change a lot. Like, certain people wouldn't be invited. <laughs> 
It is what it is. I and I feel like my speech could have been better. Like my wedding speech at the ceremony that I did to Darnell, I feel like it could have been better. But that's that one on nobody. That was on me. Like I really should have wrote something because I thought I was on I wanted to get out there and say how I felt right then and there. You know, in that moment. But I should have realized that I was irritated because you know, I just had a baby and all this. I should have wrote something. But in my head, at the beginning, I was like, okay, I want to get out there and say how exactly how I feel at that moment. Like, how I feel. You feel what I'm saying? My love for you right then and there. But I was so irritated. I was just, like, saying anything. I ain't gonna lie. Because I just had a baby. And it's not in it. at the end, I was like, I should have just wrote something. Because I was, just, I was just mumbling, just thinking of something quick. Y'all know what I'm saying? But that was completely on me. So, yeah. I feel like I should have wrote something. What I did, I think I said this, but what I did, I was like about the way it was. Diving and getting ready with my bridesmaids and my flower girl and my wedding planner and all that. Like, really, really, like, all us getting our makeup done. We got music playing. We was drinking mimosas. I think I'm going to add some clips, but we was drinking mimosas. Um, getting our makeup done, having fun, like, and like I told y'all, most of my bridesmaids was my sister, so it was, we was vibing, like, they made me feel very comfortable, the girl did my makeup snap, the girl did my hair really snap, and I just feel like we just had, we just had so much fun, I think that's my best part, like, glam, my flower girls was so beautiful, like, y'all, I think that, I think glam was my best part about the wedding, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like interacting with my sisters, uh, my friends, my uh, my babies, my little flower girls, like all that. I just feel like that was my best part because I needed that. Cause man, y'all, I just had a baby. I just had a C-section. My uh, papa was in the NICU in Atlanta. We all were in Chicago. My baby, y'all, I kept crying and they was just so supportive of me, making sure I was good, wiping my tears in the middle of getting my hair and makeup done. Y'all, I'm crying like, <laughs> I'm crying like, and they were just like wiping my tears, telling me it's gonna be okay, supporting me. And I think that was like my best part of my wedding because I needed that like my baby was all the way in Atlanta in a NICU at home and we all in Chicago so I already feel bad but y'all know that's the mother in us like I ain't even want to go because I'm like I got to leave my baby here in a NICU and he need me like but you know people were supporting me and telling me even the NICU nurses they was like go have your wedding go have your wedding we got Zaire he gonna be good and he was most definitely good like I was calling they even dressed him up on the wedding <laughs> they even dressed him up on the wedding day y'all it was I felt love I felt love that was my favorite part cause I really 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 really, really need, needed that support like I just kept crying y'all cause my baby even after the wedding like I'm just like okay let's go home cause we go home my baby is like I wanna go home to my baby like <laughs> but Will I do it again? No. But that's for another day. <laughs> that's for another story. But I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. Make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Turn your post notification bell on so you know when your girl Xavier is on your screen. Follow me on the ground at you know Xavier. Period, y'all. And I'm out.